Hey there, I'm Lorinda Carr here. So, I've been working on my book. Um, I've been told for years I was gonna write a book and then suddenly Spirit's like, okay, it's time. And I even said to them, I'm like, listen, I don't have the bandwidth, I don't have the, the I, don't, I don't know how to write. So, I just said, if you wanna do this, you better bring it on through. So I thought this was interesting because one of the things that, that I was impressed to write about is actually the spiritual community, social media, and competitiveness among other practitioners. So I'm actually gonna read this excerpt. Now keep in mind, this was late last night and I have a lot of tweaking to do still. I wanna like, I'm sure I'll change some things around, but this is where spirit is headed. The world of spiritual practice particularly in the realms of mediumship and psychic work, is not immune to the influences of competition and hierarchy, often exacerbated by the presence and impact of social media platforms. This competitive mindset among spiritual practitioners can be detrimental and ironically is unnecessary considering the nature of the work. We've talked about this actually. I've talked about this and a lot of us talk about this. In the realm of mediumship, the idea of competition seems inherently misplaced. The purpose of this practice is to serve as a bridge between the living and the spiritual realms, to convey messages and guidance from the deceased to those still in the physical world. Given the infinite nature of the spirit world, the notion that there is a limited number of spirits to connect with is illogical. There are, metaphorically speaking, plenty of dead people to go around. This abundance suggests that competition for clients or recognition is unnecessary. Hmm, imagine that. However, the rise of social media has significantly impacted the way spiritual practices are perceived and conducted. Social media platforms have become a double-edged sword while they provide practitioners with a way to reach a wider audience, share experiences, and offer their services they also create a space where comparison and competition can thrive. Practitioners may feel pressure to present themselves in a certain way, to have a large following, or to demonstrate their abilities in more sensational or marketable forms. This environment can overshadow the core purpose of their work, which is to provide healing and guidance. Oh, but wait, it gets better. Many developing mediums find themselves caught in this imposed hierarchy. They may feel pressured to measure their progress against more prominent or successful practitioners they see online. This comparison can lead to frustration and self-doubt, especially when their personal experiences or development is highly individual and subjective and comparing one's path to another can be misleading and disheartening. And that goes on. Yeah, there's more. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. This is a lot to take in, but also how many of you sat here and, well, first of all, congratulations if you sat through the whole three and a half minutes, but how many of you were like, yeah. So this is, this is me giving into spirit and letting them just talk through me. And, and then of course me going back and finding all the big words to fill in with my initial words. So that's just what I do anyway. Let me know your thoughts so far. What do you think, what do you, where do you think this book should be going? What other ideas do you have that I could actually incorporate into my book, other topics, um, things to talk about in the mediumship world? I'd love to hear it.